All right, folks, <clears throat> Sega Sonic fan here, and I've finally got my inverter backlight LED upgrade repair dealio finished. And you'll see here, it looks quite nice. I'm actually kind of astonished that it matches, that, that the uh, diffusion in the backlight panel uh, works so well with the LEDs. Because the uh, this particular panel had two uh, cathode tubes, one on the top and one on the side. But as you can see, that doesn't appear to be a problem uh, with the LED replacement just being on the on the top. Well, actually, it's on the bottom. They're both on the bottom if you're looking at it from this direction. And uh, yeah, I am I am quite pleased. What a what a great screen actually too. Um, it's so good that I actually can see some of the artifacting in DVDs now. Ha ha ha. Wanting to fix one thing and then you're like, oh, I want Blu-ray. But uh, I, I'm super happy with it. So this was a little bit co overly complicated because of the lack of instructions. So I thought I'd just uh, make this quick video to let you all know how I did this if you buy one of these boards. Uh, this, is, this is the upgrade board, by the way. And there's four wires here. Uh, on this particular board, red is power, black is ground, yellow is enable, and white is dim. Now, I, I in part one of this video, I talk about this chip, and uh, you can find the data sheet. Alldatasheet.com has the, the data sheet for this. Maybe I'll try to link it in the description. But uh, basically, there is a very thin trace you can see running out here going all the way to the backlight. And so I had a strong suspicion that, that was going to be the enable, which uh, when the screen closes, shuts off. Here, I'll turn off this light so you can see that better. And that shuts off the backlight. So that's where my enable wire goes. I put a 10 kilo ohm resistor because, you know, limit current, be safe, why not? Uh, and then power just goes to the, uh, the large capacitor on the power rail here, which is a uh, 9 volt power rail. It's rated at 16 volts. That's kind of a dead giveaway that it's a large voltage um, bypass capacitor. And the real tricky part with this guy was the dim wire, which I could not figure out for the life of me. I did all these uh, voltage divider circuits, and then I uh, started doing current control from pin 4 and other stuff. And it's set up in a pretty wonky way, but basically what what worked best for me was when I ran the when I ran the dim without a current limiting resistor straight to 3.3 volts. Um, 3.2 something. And that made the brightness quite a bit dimmer, really helped the picture quality a lot. And so I think the way the dimming works is between 3.3 uh, volts. It got dimmer as the voltage got higher, which is really weird to me. Uh, especially because the dim pin is actually rated at 3.3 to 1 volts for the for the dimming. Um, but uh, I feel like it would have to go dimmer than this. Maybe not. But in any case, uh, that's what I found worked for me, so I'm not even going to bother with like adjusting it with a potentiometer or anything. The configuration for this chip does not match the data sheet at all, so it's, it's kind of wonky. So uh, yeah, but anyway, that worked for me. Um, just with the dim line, just mess around with giving it uh, between 3.3 volts and like 2.5 volts. You should find something that you like in there. And uh, taking the screen apart to put the LED in there was a pain. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, slots for the way the reflective material slots in. And if you don't get it just right, it won't close properly. And uh, it's a little bit of a gap here, but that's, no, that's actually fine. Um, so yeah, it's it's nice and closed now, and yeah, I mean, it's going to work great. But man, that was a pain getting that, uh, whenever you have to open up these panels and work on the backlights, it's no fun. But it's all good now, and uh, I've got everything neatly packed in there. You almost can't even tell that it's been modified. So uh, yeah, have fun restoring your old... Uh, DVD players or whatever you're restoring your old LCDs. Uh, I am just amazed at the results from this not being a, a cathode tube. I mean, just look at it. You can't even tell. It looks great. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. That's all for this video. It's a Sega Sonic fan, signing out.